So um, this is a way to use the footboard, right, to really get mobilization in the feet. And then we'll go from a little bit of mobilization to a little bit of strengthening. So I love to do this right before I go into standing work, obviously before you do any jumping on the, um, on the jump board. But even if you don't go into jumping, it's great for all of your clients to get more mobility, more proprioceptive awareness, and really supple and strong feet. So I'm here on the reformer. I've got a red and a blue spring, so not too heavy. And I'm gonna lie back. Headrest can be up or down. And then the feet are just resting comfortably. They could be more in line with the sitting bones or slightly higher. But you wanna start by thinking about the outer edges of the feet. So I'm gonna roll back onto my heels and then I'm going to um, trace the pinky toe side of my foot. I'm gonna roll up onto my toes, aligning the ankles with the toes, and then I'll roll to the inner arch of my foot. So essentially, I'm just trying to trace, right, the outer edges of the feet. I've got enough spring that I feel some reach of the spring helping to kind of anchor me into the jump board, but it's not so much that I'm jamming my shoulders up into the shoulder rests. So you just do a few, really trying to work full dorsiflexion, tracing the outer edge, up into plantar flexion, but the toes are long, and then into the inner foot and back to the heel again. And then you would reverse it. So if you can see, and maybe I'll lift my feet a little bit, that as I go to the inner edges of my feet, right, my femurs are also responding. And so I've got my feet lifted up just so you can see my femurs a little bit, but you would want your toes connected to the jump board. And so I'm rolling around and mobilizing all of the bones of the foot as I'm getting a little bit of strengthening work as well. And so after doing that, I would have them bring the full foot to the floor and then we're gonna try to draw the long toes towards the heels, doming the foot and activating the arch and then just release. And so you would do that a few times, really squeezing and activating the muscles of the arch. So this is working those intrinsic muscles of the foot. And after you do a few of those, I would have them go into a little bit of straight knee jumps. So we're pushing through the toes and landing with a straight knee, which means I have to roll through the foot on the way out and the way in. So it's a very small range of motion, but I'm trying to articulate and roll. And you could add even to that a dorsiflexion. So they're going through dorsiflexion into full plantar flexion. And this really gets all of the muscles, intrinsic, extrinsic of the lower leg and foot going, building lots of dynamic mobility in the foot. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time, and never stop learning.